Hello Minions, Wheezy here. Today, we're going to catch up on what you missed on the channel, and we're also going to talk about what you can expect from the imminent restart of Wheezy's War College, which is coming tomorrow. Let's talk about it. Okay, so we're going to get right into it. Um, just real quickly, when I say tomorrow, as I'm recording this video and I'm going to get it posted today, it is March 26th. So March 27th, Saturday, is going to be the official launch of the first episode of the reboot of Wheezy's FPS War College. So we'll talk about that more at the end. But first, what have we missed? I haven't done a, I didn't do a weekly update, uh, a weekly wrap up. Can't call this W3 Wheezy's weekly wrap up and call it weekly update. <laughs> So uh, I didn't do a wrap up last week. Um, things just got crazy and there wasn't a whole lot of content that I got on the channel after I got back from my Astro workshop, which you guys saw in the last weekly wrap up. But since then I posted a Destiny 2 video, um, which was interesting, like it, it popped up on, I got a notification from my Game Pass app on Xbox saying, hey, there's a new update in Destiny coming. And uh, since it's on Game Pass, I was like, sure, I'll give it a try. So. Uh, I fired that up, recorded it, ran my mouth, and uh, here's a clip of that. Succeed, and barracks will reveal all. Oh yeah, I'll do that. I'll go ahead and succeed the shit out of this. Hi, you want to drop some reinforcements? I got a rocket for him. Or do I have to go trigger the beacon? Yeah? Oh god! Holy shiza. Well, that worked. Uh. <laughs> All right. You're welcome. Prove it. We expect What is that? Oh, it's an orb, but I already got my supercharged. That's right. They changed the texture on the orb, it looks like. Hey, did you see how I murked everything in two rockets? Did you see that? Did you see how I did that? Because I'm amazing. Oh, God. Cut to black. A lot of cut to black in this game. A lot of cut to black in this game. So, yeah, you guys can go check that out uh, if you're interested in Destiny. If you guys are still playing Destiny 2, go to that video or in this video. And, like, I, I've missed a lot. I've been away from Destiny 2 for a long time. Um, so let me know what I missed, if it's worth going back to and spending more time in. Um, after that, I posted uh, a video that is, is kind of double-edged. One is, I called it How to Get Flawless Crystals, which is true, but it's also a uh, more efficient way to kind of do what I call a three and out in uh, Zombies Outbreak, where you go to level three, I, I did it in solo, right, where you just go to level three basically as quickly and efficiently as you can and then when you exfil from level three you got a flawless crystal um, you've got a couple of the enhanced crystals regular crystals so you get plenty of xp you shoot a lot of zombies it's a lot of fun so uh, i think it's a really good efficient way to play it about a 45 minute game of zombies have some fun in and out get some experience get some upgrades so uh, here's a clip from that video for Up on top of the hill. No, 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 oh god, that's bad. No, fuck me. You motherfucker. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. You ruined my car. Now I gotta run. No. 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 You ruined my car. I hate you. You. I hate you too. Yeah. I don't want to run, uh... More dogs. I hate dogs. I hate the dogs. They're so fast. Hi. All right. Yup, let's do this. Hi, right, guys. Let's have it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Bad dog. Loading! But even though I don't need it. Oh, I need the armor. 
Yeah, now I'm safe. Let's go. Goodbye! <clears throat> 55 minutes. So, probably, let's call it 53, 52. Refined Ethereum Crystal, Flawless Ethereum Crystal, Raw Ethereum Crystal. Look at that. So go check that out. It's it's a fun video because it's basically the entire gameplay I did with me talking through it. Um, it also gives a bunch of kind of just random outbreak tips throughout it, so go check that out. After that, I did a video on the ray gun. I managed to get a ray gun to drop in level one of an outbreak game. And so I got to go take it all the way through the upgrade tree and use it a bunch. So I did a video breaking down the ray gun, telling you how to get it, telling you how to upgrade it, telling you what its advantages are, what it's good for, like... It's a beast in Outbreak. So here's a clip from that video. From what I've seen, you know, I don't believe the Ray K or the Ray Gun will drop from the uh, reward station for doing uh, contracts or for trials. And if you complete trials and get a legendary reward, um, it'll drop perks, it'll drop uh, rare, uh, epic and legendary weapons. But I haven't seen it drop a Ray K or a Ray Gun. But what it will do is pretty much guarantee you a die shockwave. So from that standpoint, if you manage to get a ray gun drop either from a world event, a boss, uh, or from a uh, mystery box pull, then you can complete some trials and guarantee yourself basically a die shockwave. And a one-two punch of a die shockwave with its suction ability and its you know burst potential um, and then the power of the ray gun, uh, that would be a pretty powerful combination. Although the issue with the die shockwave is it cannot be upgraded in outbreak. Um, it cannot be pack a punched unlike the ray gun. So again, the ray gun is far more powerful. So you definitely want to check that out if you guys are playing zombies and want to know more about the ray gun and outbreak. Also, as I mentioned briefly in that video, I've got a video that I'm going to make next week uh, on the Ray K, so you can you can look forward to that coming up soon. Um, and then after that, uh, the last thing that I posted was a game. Uh, it was actually three games of Modern Warfare, where I tried out for like the first time ever the specialist uh, bonus or upgrade or whatever in. Uh, in Modern Warfare, which is where you don't take kill streaks, and instead, for every two kills you get, you get an extra perk until you get eight kills, and then you get most of the perks. I'd never used that before, and I decided I wanted to play some Modern Warfare. I was just like in the mood to play some Modern Warfare because it's still so good. And uh, when I jumped in there, one of the challenge, one of the missions that I hadn't completed was do all these specialist things. So I decided, you know what, I'll do that, and uh, had some had some fun playing some games. And uh, here's a clip from that video. Friendly? Okay. I don't know where anyone is. I don't know where to look. Thank you. What? Oh god. Hello? I hear you. Oh god. That was lucky spray there. Is Buddy gonna be waiting for me? Oh, why? Oh, they both came back. I still should have won that fight. I still should have won that fight. Horse Shiza. So yeah, if you guys are still digging some Modern Warfare, go check that out. It's it's still a good time. Uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, upgrades popping up here. Um, so the, now I want to talk about Wheezy's War College. As I sit here on Friday, the 26th of March, my uh, Map Movement 101 Wheezy's War College episode is uploaded, scheduled for tomorrow morning, Saturday the 27th, to go live. So there's no wishy washing about hey coming soon working on it it's produced it's done it's uploaded it's scheduled so it's going to go live tomorrow morning as i record this if you're watching this after saturday morning it's up go watch it um i put it in the same playlist uh as my other episodes of Weezy's war college which honestly aren't awful considering i made them like 10 years ago <laughs> when I was capturing on like a, a hop hog in 720p and recording on like a potato microphone. Um, 
production quality, my ability to produce videos has gotten better since then. And my ability to kind of break down information has also, I think, improved. So the idea behind Weezy's War College in general is I'm, I'm treating it a lot like a college course, like war college. So um, I, I've got kind of a structure that I've already laid out that I'm going to be building videos around. And I kind of think of it from a standpoint of like modules, lessons, and tactics where the top level modules cover a, a large topic like map movement, situational awareness. Um, and then underneath that, it breaks down individual lessons. So for map movement, I've got things like using cover, working from the edge of the map, um, why did I just blank on my own video? <laughs> Working from the edge of the map, uh, avoiding obvious routes. There's five points in there that are kind of lesson level things. And underneath those lessons, I've broken down some individual tactics as kind of like a starting point for just, for giving a full picture of what's going to go on. But again, the modules are an introduction and kind of a high level because the modules in this case, this module introduces five lessons and each of those lessons has two to three tactics, um, two kind of specific tactics and one kind of summary. And so in the future, not only will I be bringing new modules, but I will be doing individuals on e individual videos on each lesson, as well as individual videos on each sub tactic and any other sub tactics that can apply um, that may not be mentioned in the overview going forward. So the idea is that I've got a framework that I've already created. And now I'm going to start filling it in with videos that are going to teach you everything that you need to know about getting better at first person shooters. So it's, um, you know, there's a couple of ways to get better at something. One is to just brute force it and just to do it over and over and over again until you get better at it, which, you know, is somewhat tried and true. And for most people with video games, which is a, a fun hobby, uh, you know, a bit of a side pursuit, not necessarily um, considered serious enough for study, not that I'm going to assign you guys a textbook or anything like that, but the other way, other than just giving it the old college try, is to actually learn something about it, to actually kind of observe and research with an eye towards learning. Um, that's kind of how my brain works. It's what I like doing. It's what I, it's a big part of what I want to bring to the channel. Uh, in addition to, you know, just in general fun gameplay. Also, as the channel continues to grow, I'm seeing some decent growth now as I'm getting content, uh, content out pretty regularly since I vanished for like six years. Um, so as the channel continues to grow, I'm hoping to find more people who want to actually hop in and play games. I have a weird schedule, so it can be hard to like find people to play with. Um, and then I can bring more of the content that the channel started on with just having fun uh, gameplays where I'm bullshitting with people and stuff like that. But I also want to, you know, I'm kind of naturally someone who likes being able to help people get better at things, learn things as quickly as possible. Um, so that's a big part of Weezy's War College. The idea is to take my years of experience playing video games and specifically of those video game years, a significant portion of that has been playing shooters. And so kind of distilling all of my years of experience down into lessons that in a much more you know efficient amount of time you can turn around and uh, and start using to make your gameplays more fun uh, and just if you want to be better at a game it'll help you I'm not saying this is gonna make you like a top level competitive thing like competitive player that's gonna you know that's something that does take hundreds and thousands of hours for the game you're being competitive at um, this is for if you want to be able to jump into shooters have more fun have more success these are the strategies tactics simple lessons that you can do, simple, actionable things you can do to make your gameplays better. So be sure to check out this first rebooted episode. It has a it has a corollary. There's a map movement uh, episode of Wheezy's War College that I did 10 years ago. So after you watch this new one, go check out the old one, kind of see how things have shifted up. When I did the original series, I kind of knew what I wanted for the the what I now call modules in my head. So I had the module idea. And so I went out and played the games with a mind for capturing clips that would that would fulfill that lesson, right? So if I was doing map movement, I would deliberately go into like Call of Duty and I would play a, mat, a few matches with a really like mind for I'm recording this to show good map movement. Um, and then in the episode, I 
I address the concepts while basically breaking down the gameplay clip. So the the lesson, the video kind of followed the gameplay, um, which was a little hard in the production process to try and follow, uh, as well as it kind of made what I was able to talk about in the video really dependent upon the the ki the clips that I was able to capture. Um, what I've been doing over the past year and more is just as I've been playing games, I've been capturing clips. Um, just anything that, that was a good clip, a good streak, something that was successful in a game. And I've just been cataloging those. And so then I wrote the outline for this first module, and so I'm going to do for the other ones too. I wrote what, what lessons I wanted to cover, what in my brain I know when I'm playing a game are the foundational things that I keep in mind as I'm playing. And I outlined all that, wrote it down, I recorded the voiceover for the entire episode um, without having any gameplay clips in mind. I just basically recorded a college lecture on video game FPS map movement. And then um, as I, when I edited the video and I put it back in there, I went over each of the places after I had outlined the tactics for a single lesson. While I was discussing those tactics, I overlaid a clip that I had captured that applied uh, appropriately to what I was talking about. So I went through my catalog of clips and found one that was appropriate for the topic I was topic talking about and laid it in there. So this one's a lot more focused, this one's a lot more concise, uh, a lot less scattered. So um, guys go check it out. Let me know what you think. I need, you know, I want your feedback so I can keep, you know, making things better in the future. Um, but I'm excited. I think uh, I've got a good framework and process down. I really want, like, I'm excited for new games to come out because Cold War's out, but it's, like, kind of awful. <laughs> I mean, it's good enough to get some clips for stuff like that. I've still got a, I got a bunch of stuff that I captured from Modern Warfare. Um, Battlefield, like, Battlefield Five, I didn't play much of, so I've, I played, a, so I've been playing a little bit of that to kind of capture some stuff just because I want this variety of games. I want to show that it's not, like, all one game. It's not how, this isn't how to get good at Call of Duty or Battlefield. It's how to get good at every first-person shooter that you play. I got a clip from Rainbow Six Siege in there. I got clips from Call of Duty 4, well, Modern Warfare Remastered. I got clips from, um, I wanted to go back and get clips from, like, Modern Warfare 2, the console, somewhat... Thankfully, the console version of Modern Warfare 2 is completely dead. Um, I'm sure the PC version probably still has a community going, but I'm not going down that road. Um, but anyway, I wanted to get a variety of games, and I want I want this to have also modern games, right? I don't want it to, want it to be like all Battlefield 3, you know, Battlefield Hardline, <laughs> games that I was playing 10 years ago. Like Battlefield 3, Battle 3 Battlefield 3 was in... Um, my original Wheezy's War College 10 years ago. So um, I want the new Battlefield game to come out. I want it to be modern. I've heard that the new Call of Duty game is going to be World War II. So, yeah. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find I'm gonna find good shooters. I'm going to bring you good content. I'm going to teach you guys how to kick some ass. So I've already been rambling for long enough. So feedback time. Leave feedback here. Go watch the videos, leave feedback there. I want comments and feedback from you guys. I'm going to keep posting and I'm going to keep talking to myself if I have to because I'm crazy like that and I don't give a shit. But I want to hear from you guys too. I love you guys. I will talk to you later, minions. Goodbye.